So guys, I am determined that this vlog is going to be quality. So at the start of this week, as I think I told you all, I went to Oxford for my interview, which was A, terrifying, and B, exciting, and just a really strange experience. So I'm kind of glad it's over, and I will find out in about a week or two whether I've got a place or not. But in the meantime, I've had an offer from my third choice university, so I am sorted, basically. I'm happy. Now, Erin. Firstly, I wanted to say happy birthday and I'm very sorry I didn't get a chance to wish you happy birthday last week and I'm glad you seem to have such an amazing time. Please don't forget to tell us about the shows that you're going to see next year and I hope you have fun then. And I remember a couple of weeks ago you asked in a video what our opinions was on that tram lady video and I just wanted to tell you all what I thought. I found it a bit weird because for me, at least in the part of England where I live, we don't really see any racism or bad attitudes towards any other people or if we do then it, most of the time it's quite immediately pointed out to them how wrong their opinions are and I've always loved to be able to see that in my generation. You can really see the shift between our generation and the generation above in views on sexuality and race and stuff and I think that's really important and amazing and I love the fact that everyone at my college is so just accepting of everyone really. Some of my closest friends are from other countries and they are amazing, beautiful people. I'm so glad I've met them. So yeah, that's what I think about that. The second thing that Erin asked us was what our favourite thing we've bought recently is and I'm going along the same lines as you Erin and I'm showing you my new shoes. Um, I bought these for my interview, A because they're pretty and red and they make me feel like I'm in the worst of Oz and B because I vaguely hoped that even if my personality didn't make an impression on the interviewers they would remember me as the girl with the red shoes. And as for my favourite Christmas song, I will have to think about it because we only put our Christmas tree up today so I'm only just starting to get into the Christmas spirit. But I will let you know next week and maybe even do a quick rendition for you on the guitar or on the ukulele because that would be awesome. In other news, I have made your mixtapes. Um, I'm so excited. I'm gonna start mailing them and get like padded envelopes and stuff so they don't die in the post. So yeah, that's the most important thing on my Christmas to-do list done. Um, so I hope you're all very happy with them. I just remembered one thing I had to tell you all. I passed my driving test. Mm. So I am now on the roads as a fully qualified driver, trying not to kill people. And it's amazing, it's so much freedom and I love it. And my car is already a mess and there are CDs everywhere because I always want to listen to something new. The best thing about being able to drive on my own is going down the roads at 50 miles an hour singing at the top of my voice with no one able to hear me and it's amazing. <laughs> this week is the last week of term for us so we finish on Thursday and after that Christmas things start happening, exciting stuff and I think it's finally time to start listening to some Christmas songs so I'll get on that. And I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I hope to see you all this week. I hope you're having good weeks and tell me how your Christmas preparations are going. Have you guys got your trees up? Is there any special Christmas traditions in your houses? Let me know. Okay, love to all. Bye!